The twin scourges of diabetes and road traffic accidents mean Bermuda has a disproportionate number of amputees. This month is Limb Loss Awareness Month, an effort to educate people about those missing legs or arms. Ryan Gibbons is already helping to shine a light on the lives of amputees. He's using so social media to post helpful tips and exercise advice while raising the profile of those like him who've experienced the loss of a limb. It was complications after a bike accident that saw Ryan lose part of his right leg eight years ago. Now a full-time bartender and an avid runner, he's trying to show his followers on social media that people who've lost a limb can lead productive, busy lives. But as Ryan knows too, that's not the full picture. Many amputees suffer severe depression, especially immediately after losing a limb. 36% of U.S. amputees say they've contemplated suicide. For Ryan, this month is about speaking up. Not all of them have a voice. If you want to go over to King Edward, there's a bunch of people sitting out the front and they are quite much in despair, not knowing what to do. I have a voice. I was already kind of in, in the public eye from the job that I do in hospitality. Um, I really enjoy the fitness and I want to take it to the next level. I, I, I'd like to be the, the fastest single leg amputee in the world over long distance. Um, that is my goal. Ryan says many of the amputations in Bermuda are preventable. Bermuda leads the world in amputations uh, between cardiovascular disease, diabetes, traumatic amputations from vehicular accidents. Those are three of the biggest, uh, three of four causes of the major causes of amputation. Medical costs are a particular concern for amputees like Ryan. Prosthetic limbs cost at least $12,000. Many are much more expensive. While some insurance companies provide a $100,000 lifetime allowance for prosthetic devices that can quickly be spent, with new limbs needed as people grow and technology advances. Ryan says instead of a flat figure, coverage should be on a case-by-case -case basis. I had $100,000, I have the same coverage as someone much younger than me, and they will be growing out of their devices at a, high, at a higher rate. Um, so there needs to be parity. So we have to keep, if you can talk to your parliamentarian representative, uh, writing letters in to them, insurance companies. Um, the Bermuda Health Council has been fantastic as far as trying, you know, certain parliamentarians have been really instrumental in, in getting that cap from 15000 where it was in 2010 to $100,000 right now. Beyond financial and medical needs, Ryan says more should be done to help amputees who may be struggling with mental health issues. I know I struggle with it. Um, I found fitness is a good outlet for me and it's, it's become beneficial not just for physical health, but for mental health, knowing that I was going to be able to push myself to do things and gain some independence. And if you want more information on how you can support a loved one or friend after the loss of a limb, contact the Active Amputee on Instagram or find Ryan Gibbons on social media. <laughs>